I want to talk to you about why your company needs a social media policy. Regardless of what business you're in or what industry you're in, you need to set out some clear, simple guidelines for your staff. Now you're going to be doing two things with your guidelines. One is you're going to be alerting your staff to things that are acceptable and not acceptable to say. But you'll also be empowering your staff because you'll be telling them, look, these are great things to talk about and this is how to go about it. And a lot of staff will be hesitant to use social media because they're going to be scared about their job and they're going to be scared about getting into trouble. Now, these are the things that you need to cover in your social media policy to make sure that your staff are covered and to make sure that they're empowered. So the first thing you need to do is you need to talk about etiquette. Etiquette really is about things like tone of voice. It's about things which are really um, how to deal with situations, right? So when should you be promotional in your updates? When is it okay to uh, ask questions? Um, it also, it's about things like misunderstandings. Can you say something that might get taken out of context? Because it will happen, you will make mistakes. And there is ways to actually can go back and apologize. There are disagreements that can happen and you can deal with those. So it's important to set out how to deal with those. There's also issues like confidentiality. You need to alert your staff to what can and can't be said, can't be talked about in public. There's also, about the, there's also the fact that certain things are going to be updated from people's personal profiles. So for example, your LinkedIn profile is your own profile. So what can staff talk about and not talk about on LinkedIn profile? There's also things like conflicts of interest. So for example, um, you may be talking to clients, but there might be situations where competitors are following you or communicating with you. So what sort of information can you share with those people? Um, also, it's important to remind people about not to forget their day job. So you want to encourage people to go on social media, but there's also got to be a bit of common sense. You don't want your staff to be on Facebook all day. So again, I think you need to make it clear to your staff, social media is okay, but these are the boundaries of what is and isn't acceptable. So just to summarise, when you're setting up a social media policy, remember it's ultimately there not to restrict your staff, it's there to empower your staff, because you're telling them what is and isn't acceptable. Think about etiquette, Think about conflicts of interest, think about confidentiality, and most importantly, give your staff some encouragement to use it. Um, just to make things really easy for you, you don't even have to start from scratch. There are some really great companies out there who already have great policies which you can borrow from. So for example, there's IBM, there's Nordstrom, there's US Air Force, and there's the British Council. For more information about those companies and to find out more about those policies, why don't you follow my blog?